uh, copies of a bill I'd like to pass locally. If I could take you back on the pretrial diversion program when the bill was initially passed, law enforcement was not included in the bill. So we amended the bill in the next session <clears throat> to include law enforcement, in other words, the agency who made the case. And when we did that, what occurred was when the bill was drafted, uh, a mistake was made where the county commission had been in the bill both times. Uh, the word may was put in instead of shall. So I need to amend the bill to put the Henry County Commission back into the bill where you'd be entitled on a felony up to a hundred dollars, <throat> excuse me, uh, so in other words you would get your your part of the pretrial diversion like we initially had. It was an oversight, somehow it got missed, I didn't draft the bill, legislative reference did when we included the hundred dollar up to a hundred dollars for law enforcement. The fees for pretrial diversion will not go up for the DA's office in any way. It will just add the part for Houston County of Henry County, excuse me. And the bill that was done included Houston County, but I don't think Houston County wants to be involved at this time. So I will strike <coughs> that part of the bill and just ask for an endorsement from this commission and you judge to allow us to go back for Henry County once again could get the commission that part up to $100. I will get no more money, <clears throat> uh, but the auditors have indicated we need to clean the bill up. You won't be required to pay any money back that was already collected, uh, but as you see, I'm sure a decrease as we've had current cases instead of continuing to sit on it, you know, I, I thought it was best to go ahead, even though, <clears throat> pardon me, the session is going, I still think we have time, and I'll ask Lucy Baker to sponsor it in the House and Mr. Penn in the Senate. So, as I understand, uh, both commissions, <clears throat> as well as the legislatures, want an endorsement. <clears throat> Sorry, got a frog in my throat. Uh, would ask you to consider that. I'd be glad to answer any questions uh, about the bill. But there's no more money to me. Uh, but once again, because of that term, May. The auditors say it has to say shall. I will strike the part. I know the copy I've given you for Houston County uh, for, for reasons I won't really go into. Uh, they don't want to be part of the bill this year. So I'm asking if you want your $100 to go back to the commission, I'd have to have an endorsement from you and then to take it as a local act to the legislature to get that bill, what I say, cleaned up. We've had to answer any questions about it. In other words, the, and when I say no increased fee, a defendant would, like in the past, still have to pay if it's a felony to the commission. In other words, so it's where the bill was two years ago or three years ago, but because when we talked to the Attorney General, law enforcement was not included, I felt law enforcement that works the case you know, their gas, their time, their paperwork, you, you fund the Sheriff's Department or the other agencies within the county that make the case should be in part of the, part of the money on the pretrial diversion. So I'd be glad to answer any questions. I really don't see, uh, I'm asking you anything controversial, but just to clean it up for the auditors, they wanted it done, and so that's why I'm back before you to ask you to consider it. And to vote, I will strike the parts uh, about Henry County, I'm about Houston County, and there's really nothing new. There's nothing being slipped in. My fees aren't going up. But uh, once again, I don't have the figures, but uh, I would guess that in the past you've gotten more than forty-five, fifty thousand dollars into the county general fund. See fit as you, you know, there's no earmarking on it. That, that wasn't part of the agreement when we initially passed the bill. It's yours to spend as you see fit as the commission, you know. So, uh, I'd like I said, be glad to answer any questions uh, about it. But, we, you know, I would ask you to pass it if you don't want it, then that's definitely your choice. Uh, but my fees don't go up, I don't collect anymore. The clerk collects the, the money and then it's dispersed from her to you. It doesn't go through the DA's office. Okay. Actually, none of the fee. I mean, you was collecting the hundred anyway. Right. 
Well, I collected until the auditor said when the bill got amended, in other words, the last time for law enforcement, somehow the word got put may instead of shall. And then when I took it to the auditors, uh, their opinion was that, that it needed to be changed. I went to the Attorney General and asked them for an opinion because I thought the language was still pretty clear myself. But that's how they interpreted it. So they just said, clean it up, change it from may to shall. And then, in other words, I made an agreement with the commissions, both Houston and Henry. If I gave law enforcement 100, I'd give the commission 100. If I gave the police 50, I would give the commission 50. It won't be a bill where I give law enforcement 100 and cut you 25, and I've stuck to that. And then it breaks down felonies or misdemeanors or violations. And what reason would the Houston County Commission not want part of this? Well, <laughs> I guess we could use the term a bingo down there, whatever, uh, that it's been thrown around, whatever, but it was discussed with me that maybe wait a year before you bring it back. But, you know, I, I, they didn't quite, one of them couldn't understand. I can't bring a bill for the circuit. I have two different counties for a local bill. I have to pass it, you know, in each county. And I, I spoke with the chairman and... Uh, he said, well, I thought we talked about waiting a year. I said, well, you know, look, we can wait another two or three years because it doesn't affect me. But, you know, I'm going to get a question from one of the commissioners some way in both counties. Why is our revenue down? Well, the clerk, the law enforcement is all up, you know, where it's been. And uh, that's just a decision. They said, uh, uh, one senator called me. I don't want to want to get into it. I didn't return the call because I've been in trial. And, you know, I think that's the reason that, you know, I, I, I don't really want to get into that. Uh, I think they want their money, but I think the issue is they've got other things in front of them. We passed a court cost bill two years ago, or a year ago, we in Houston County, we did not in Henry. I, I really can't answer. I, I did not appear before their business meeting because I was in trial here at Abbeville, but I had a conversation with one of them. So. You know, I've come to Henry County. I will ask Lucy, Mr. Baker, and Mr. Penn to introduce it. I think we still have enough time. I'll advertise it. it doesn't cost you anything. I'll pick up the cost. But, you know, I, I did not want the commission to think, you know, gee, we've been getting revenue. What happened? You know, in other words, why all of a sudden are we not getting it? Why is it going down, 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 down? Uh, and that's what occurred. Now, I should have been a little more student started in January, but we've been quite busy. But I think it's still time we can get this passed if I get an endorsement for you for Henry County. And, you know, like I said, if you're not interested, that's fine. But theirs is just kind of what I told you. It's not they don't want the money. That's probably the best way to put it, you know. Uh, but I see no reason why Henry County shouldn't go forward. I, you know, I have not attached a court cost bill with this. You know, don't plan to come back with you next week and ask for a court cost bill at all. That's not the intention. But once again, it was your money, and uh, like I said, I, I gave you an approximate figure. It may even be more than that that you received since we've had the bill. So hopefully someone will make a motion at the proper time, and, and like I said, I will strike you. Uh, Houston out of it, it'll just be Henry. Uh, but, you know, any other questions, Mr. Platt? Okay. You know, I'd be happy, Thank you, sir. You know, I'd be glad to do that. And I appreciate the time. I'm sorry I was a little late, but we got four jury trials going on in Houston County. So you'll just let me know then. And I would need, in other words, as I understand, my legislators want a resolution that you endorse it. And then if we get that, then I'll start advertising. I'm not start advertising. So you give me the resolution because I don't want to throw away good money. But that's kind of a, you know, if you're worried about a cleaned up bill, I have no problem getting it back to you with Houston County struck out. But uh, I don't think there's any question. The bill explains, you know, where they, how it comes, where it goes, and who gets it. There's no other changes to it. There's not an increase in my fee, law enforcement, or leaving it just like it is. Uh, could there be a state bill? Could be, but our bill says, you know, once again, that'd still be up to me to include or not. But I, I don't see a state bill passing on pretrial because they want to add certain offenses that I don't think will ever get out of the legislature. So 